Hello there, friends. This is Mr. Matt, and this is our last Sunday where we're talking about the story of Noah and the Ark for our Sunday school lesson. And in the past couple of weeks, we've talked about this the whole story of Noah and the Ark and what the story was. And then we spent some time talking about what it means to be righteous and how God used Noah, who was a righteous man, how God used Noah to accomplish his plan. Then we spent some time talking about the long, long, long time that Noah and his family spent in the ark, waiting for the waters to recede and to dry, but how God still watched over and provided for, their, for Noah and his family while they were in the ark. And today, I want to talk a little bit about the end of the story. Now, we've talked previously that Noah built the ark, got the animals on, closed it up, that it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and then it took a very long time for those waters to recede and for the land to dry out. But when it does, God tells Noah, okay, open up the ark and let the animals out. And then God ends up having a conversation with Noah. And God says, Noah, go out into the world. Um, it's, it's yours. Go out and make it your own. Um, but then God stops and he makes a promise to Noah. He said, I've seen what this has done and I make a promise with you that I will never again destroy the world by flood. And as a sign to this, God puts the rainbow into the sky. And he says, when I look down and I see the rainbow, I will remember this promise that I have made to you. And when you look up and you see the rainbow, you can also remember this promise. And so we have the biblical story of what the rainbow tells us. It reminds us of the promise that God made not to flood the world again. But that's not the only promise that God has made to his people. There are all kinds of passages in scripture where we learn about God's love for us and his faithfulness to us and some of the ways that he is there to help us. So, for instance, in the book of Jeremiah, there's a verse that reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So in that, God's saying, follow me, and I have a plan for you that will give you hope. Then in Romans, there's a passage that reads, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And again, this is telling us that if we love God and if we follow God, his promise is he will always work on our behalf to bring about good in our life. It doesn't say that there won't be bad things that happen by any stretch, but it's a promise from God that he will work on our behalf and work to give to us that which we need. And then of course, there's the really big promise that we hear in the gospel of John and that you, you see um, people saying or writing message boards about it all the time. And it comes from the gospel of John. And that is, for God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This is the big promise for us as followers of Jesus. If we believe in Jesus, we will not perish but our souls, our spirits will have eternal life. We will have a life 
with God. All of these things are promises that God is making to us. And he just asks, follow me, love me, be in a relationship with me so that I can bless you and I can care for you and I can walk your, wife, your life with you. So when I look up and I see the rainbow, I do first think of the Noah and the Ark story because that's where we get it. And I think about the promise that God made to not flood the world. But I also see the rainbow and I'm reminded of all of the other good and wonderful promises that God has made to us. And that gives me cause to celebrate because the rainbow is more than something that's just a beautiful sight in the sky. It's a wonderful reminder of how much God loves us. All right. That's our Sunday school lesson for today. And if you watch the next video, we'll see a little activity that we're going to do, a kitchen station that we're going to do to uh, try to celebrate the rainbow in the story. All right. That's all for now. Bye.